Hello and welcome to part 24 of uh, my Lizardman Let's Play. We are just building up to deal with the uh, ritual at the moment. I do need a little bit more forces in over here um, right now, and we are nice and secure over in uh, over in Lustria. Uh, just a little hang there. I do seem to get them occasionally when I'm first loading in, so uh, I probably should have had a little bit of a move around since then. Hopefully, they will stop. I am also going to start moving Crocky, Crocgar, back over to uh, to the Southlands because here is relatively safe, safe, and I do have a nice big, solid army here as well as a lot of defences. So uh, with the garrison there, I can uh, probably fend off quite a lot of forces here. Um, if anything does spawn over here to do with it, though, we might use a few territories in the middle, which isn't good. But we'll see how how this goes. Um, let's just have a quick look through my settlements. Let's level this guy up. I'm going to keep pushing out my economy. Oh, and over here, I am going to actually knock down some of my economic buildings. I, I will lose some money doing this, but I feel that I, I, I want to get walls in here because uh, I'm being a little bit... Uh, neglectful of this territory because I could lose it especially here which has got a lot of my major buildings in it and if I were to lose that that would be very negative I'd probably leave the cursed jungle right up here because that's all on its own but it, certainly temple of the skulls I want to get built up so that's providing 360 a turn obviously various buffs are also affecting that um, so we'll see how that affects the my overall income but uh I don't think it'll be too bad. I don't hope it won't be too bad. Right, oh, it's another 10k. That's that's very good. So uh, let's keep moving here along there. So that's going to get me a few more things built up as well. Um, oh, do I not have an economic building built here? That doesn't seem sensible. Now let's get up here and build a few more walls. Just buff my economy as much as I can. Let's check this army. I believe. Ooh, I thought I had these guys recruiting. Um, okay. I can now set something in this region. They're already losing the Skaven corruption, so let's pop them on to a bonus income. I don't want to start a ritual just yet uh, because I know I'm going to get quite a few armies thrown at me so I do want to build up a little bit more first so just so I'm completely and utterly ready for them when they do come. The other thing I also need to be ready for is in case they drop uh, somebody else drops an intervention army onto me, um, which is a, you know could be potentially be a very powerful army which could knock a city over very quickly if it's undefended, which is why I'm getting that wall up around Temple of Skulls for Skulls because that's my main city, so that's probably where the intervention are. Well, I've never seen them spawn anywhere else other than the main city, so that's probably going to be the place I want that, uh, just in case somebody does throw one at me. Um, I don't think Clan Pestilence is, but basically High Elves are definitely in a position to uh, do that to me if they wanted to. Now obviously I've got the other Lizardmen faction there, uh, who's uh, pushed past me a little annoyingly. I probably shouldn't have given them military access, but uh, oh god, I'd forgotten about that. So I've got an army coming up there as well, which I need to go and deal with. Um, that's an Elf army, I might try and uh, barter a piece with them. Because uh, I can't, I'm not really sure I want to deal with them pushing into my territory up there as well. In fact, let's try and get the dwarfs to go to war with them for me if I can't barter a peace. Because they're not going to accept a peace with me.
Okay, so those guys are... Yes! They are finally marching on that last city. If they can consolidate there, that means they will uh, free up a lot of their forces to uh, be of use elsewhere. And we've got the Orkies and the Dwarfs still fighting away in the mountains near me. As I said, at some point I probably will go and try and deal with those, uh, those Orcs. Let's see if these guys manage to do anything, or are they just running away? So Tommen has gained a follower, and we've researched the tech. And Tom Krokgar has a uh, also increasing local public order. Right, let's see if I can uh, barter a piece Be with these guys. That the Asur are a civilized race. I don't think I'm going to be able to, but we'll see. Unwise. No. In which case. Can we get the dwarves to join me? Anad? And what can the Dawi do for you on this fine day? I will join their war against them if they join my war against them. Doubtful. Alright, let's have a look what I've got in this settlement. I have nothing in this settlement. For at least a lord in there. But I don't even have much in the way of uh, defences, so I don't think I'm going to hold this, though uh, I will try. Start sprinting him up behind. These guys are too far away, and I can't really afford to move out of this territory at the moment anyway. Um, oh, this isn't nice. So the Fools of Despair could probably hold them, however they're here. Uh, they came out of nowhere. Let's get some more recruiting going on here. Defense for Tommen and Krokgar has leveled up again as well. Let's go via the city. I'll get have it. Well, this place produces gold, so I might actually, well, I might still well capture capture this place. Even though I'm probably not getting anything else in this territory because that provides gold, which is a Always useful. So one of my priests has buff leveled up. Uh, oh sorry, my slam has even leveled up. Getting that for later on because he'll be on a uh, stegadon eventually. I'm actually going to move these guys. Mm, I want them to stay in range for city. Hmm. Moving them into the woods and then swapping them to ambush starts. So they're not just sitting there in the open. Or Take 
Okay. I'm going to pretty much be going through rituals very quickly as soon as I start jumping into these. So I want to be completely ready. So we're going to get to rush Krotgar back over here after we've dealt with that settlement. And then we are going to just plunk everything together and start the ritual and just, just make a rush to wherever I need to be. Because uh, this could be a tricky one. They're actually managing to hold on to territories up there now, so uh, they really are, are sticking it to the Dark Elves. I really could use somebody sticking it to the High Elves, however, because uh, they are still my biggest problem and biggest threat at the moment. Right, this is um, going to be a fun one. I think I will fight this. I'm going to lose this, but I'll fight it. I might hopefully be able to do at least enough damage so that my other army can come in behind them and uh, scare them off or push them out, and then they can recapture this place. Uh, the archers are going to shred me here. Um, so this is a bit of an annoying, annoying loss here I'm going to be taking. Bit annoyed I can't get the dwarfs to join in this war. Um, because there's no point in having them as a buffer if they'll just let the enemy, my enemies walk through them. So nice desert map here. I don't think I've fought in a desert. I've actually fought a battle myself in a desert map yet, so uh, this will be interesting. Um, I've got some quite good units there. They've got sword, some sword masters for Hoef. Um... They've got a bolt thrower, they've got a lot of cavalry, which is going to be a problem here. Um, though they are mostly anti-large, so we'll see. How the issue here is... My army setup is not great, basically. My best bet's going to be trying to take out their lord. Where is their lord? Ah. He's going to be trying to take out that prince. See these guys in skirmish. Here comes the charge. Ouch! These are shock cavalry, so now they're engaged. This shouldn't be as much of the problem. Oh, they are, yeah, they are shredding my units, punting them all over the place, and they are breaking already. Come on, my what? Come on, mate. You can do it. Shred him. Heal on himself. This is over. I've already lost this. So now down to my one guy who's uh, fighting away. You're there in the middle of all these elves, shredding away at them. Come on, you can do it! I think the elves are causing more damage to themselves. And he broke. So that was a very quick battle, guys. Uh, at least you got one. <laughs> Uh, so that's gone. Um, I'm still going to move my army up behind, though. This is quite a nice little setup they've got, so I don't know how well my army's going to do against them, but uh, we can at least try. Um, yeah. I wasn't expecting this army to come through those dwarves.
I'm actually beginning to think I'd have been better focusing further north than pushing up into Ulfwan because actually Lustria was fairly dealt with. Um, but it was. I wanted to kill, finish off the Skaven. <laughs> Oh god, we got myself a lord I built over here to uh, start capturing other places, I think. So, uh, not capturing other places, to start uh, getting even more things in the sea. I need to get him moving as well. Come on, guys, take them. What are you doing? Knights of Arigo who are doing their thing and getting punted all over the place. And I want to get myself some revivification crystals in all of my armies as quickly as I can because uh, they will help keep people alive. Um, they are really beneficial. They resurrect fallen guys and he do provide constant healing when they're nearby. So you can imagine that with my lizard men and their enrage mechanic as well with them not breaking. A couple of those in an army basically gives you a line which just won't, which just doesn't break. Well, I thought I said Croc Gar then, I was like, what's going on? Oh god. Oh, they're charging me, right. So now, for fun, this uh, might not be the best battle, let's see. Oh, actually that's an easy battle. Take the experience. And they didn't... Actually, they just sacked it, so uh, it's not too bad. You have leveled up. I'm going to start marching him towards here. I can actually drop one of these pterodons. I can get revivification crystals already. Right, let's uh. Get both of these armies getting at least one. Right, so what do I want to drop? One, two, three. Right, that's easy. He needs to switch to encampment status. It's gonna take four turns, but I'll get me a reviv revivification crystal. Four, five, six. What do I want to drop here? Oh, that's a tricky one. This is quite a nice setup. Um, drop one of these guys. This guy has more armor, he doesn't have as so much attack, but that's not the point. He also has some ranged units on top of him, which is quite nice. And this, this is the really beneficial thing. So, resurrects dead combatants, replenishes hit points and heals injured before resurrecting. So, so it's basically constantly keeping me, keeping people uh, going. So that's really beneficial. Ideally, I would like to get two of those in each army. As you can see, they are quite expensive units, but uh, they're worth it. Oh! Okay, we will colonise that one. And he can jump out next turn and just start sprinting over. Come out of spells. So let's get some more scouting. And I can get some gold out of that. Oh, 
give him some extra HP. I would like to get him a revivification. Ooh, I don't want to get rid of all of them. quite afford it. Right, let's get this ah. Next turn. Don't want to begin the ritual just yet. These guys are nearly full. These guys are just up here. I am going to start. Is Kemri in this province? Yes. I am going to start this war up here. Because I think I can deal with these guys with just this army. Let's hope I'm not wrong. Okay, so let's uh, start building up an army here. I've got a couple of Stegodons, so I probably don't need the ram. Hmm. I'm going to go for two things, because I my uh, Stegodons should be able to break down that gate. So it's going to take two turns to siege here. These guys can uh, start moving up to Bel Alad. So in four turns, once I've, well, once I've got Krotgar back over to the main province, I ah oh, damn it! Once I've got Krotgar back over, oh, sorry, I should have had him moving further. I've got to got Krotgar back over. I will uh, start the, uh, I will start the um, ritual. So and um, we will. Uh, We'll be starting pushing right into the end game here, then, guys. So I want to get those. I'll probably try and get him a revivification crystal as well because uh, I feel that is gonna really, especially with that army he's got. That I'll probably just switch one out from one of the other armies into him. Um, I might even put a couple in there because uh, that means that that line, especially with those uh, those temple guard, they're just not gonna break and they're just not gonna die. It means I can probably. Uh, put a solid line together which is just gonna hold for a you know hold forever um, I'll have a look see if we can work out what the range is on that in a minute I don't think I've got much to worry about from Skaven anymore <laughs> I think they've got one or two territories left and I think the elves are finishing them off now certainly if the elves don't the uh, that other uh, lizard men faction well Lofen is happily invading there as well the dark elves are not doing well this time come on finish him off you can, you've got two armies there you can put them straight what is he doing really why? Oh, the dwarves have finally pushed forward and taken another settlement. That's good. That's probably because the orcs have gone to war with the vampires there. So uh, they've been fighting on two fronts, which probably gave those dwarves the upper hand. So they finally managed to push forwards to help her. Uh, with this thing. Oh, there's another army here. Where is this? Is this coming towards me? I might need to try and take that place quicker then. Hmm. And we've got Chaos doing their thing. Ok, 
Okay. No, I don't need that. Let's move forward and capture this one. That's nice. Six turns, that's very, very good. Get you into here. Let's get these walls building. It's quite nice because I get get garrison extra garrisons from these as well. Um, let's throw a few more units into here. And let's get this other revivification crystal going up, going on. Right. Do I know the? Ooh. Do I know the range of this revivification crystal? A uh, hundred meters, so it's not huge, but it's not bad. Um, I can probably have them wandering around for the heart where the, f the hardest fight is going on. Um, as I said, ideally, what I'd like is to get two in some of my in my uh, better in my army's long run. But for now, we'll start with one in each. Mister Crocgar, it is time for you to go home. Triumphant. I don't quite get why it does those angles. But it does seem to make it quicker. Start rebuilding Bel Alad. Okay, something I kept talking about. I thought I'd actually already done. So we're popping out another Lord here. His job is going to be doing the same. He's going to be popping around to sea, picking things up, trying to buff up my income. One of my other skin priests has leveled up. And again, we're not starting this just yet. Especially, I want to get those revivification crystals used in battle because I think they are going to be fun. Um, I think they're going to be. I definitely think they're going to be interesting. A couple of those behind my lines, I think, is going to make a big difference to uh, how my uh, guys, how my guys deal with things, how my guys are. Uh, play and do and go um because being able to resurrect and constant healing and constant resurrect you know and resurrecting them is going to be very beneficial um uh, to my armies oh, it's going to keep them fighting for that much longer um which means i can take hopefully take even more waves of things however if my guys start enraging obviously it's going to be difficult to potentially keep them in range Oh, so they've got Volzandil back. Clan Pestilence is uh, doing something. Trying to survive. I don't think they've got much left. Don't know if they've got the, both any of these territories. Yeah, but one of them's definitely theirs, but, but God knows where. I really do hope I don't have to go and deal, deal with those elves as well at some point. I want to uh, not have to fight the elves. I 
Now what I will be doing is once we've completed this campaign, assuming I win guys, is I will probably continue playing at some point, though we do have Mortal Empires coming. So I'll probably save, you know, leave it for now and jump into something else. At some point I'm put well I may well continue, but I might play Lizard Men in my Mortal Empires uh, campaign for to start with, because uh not having to worry about the rituals uh would be very beneficial because it just means I can play a play grand campaign strategy a bit more so I can uh, my plan can literally be to take over the world um, long run so but we'll see how it goes oh let's hope they don't attack from salt pan because I might actually have to pull back if they do oh that's not good I'm going to have to fight this. This is reasonable odds, though I don't know how these guys will do against chaos, against chaos, against undead. Now undead obviously have have no. Um, they've got a wizard, melee specialists, another wizard, and a lot of these guys. Obviously, these guys don't have any ranged at all, um, but they also don't break. So, uh. This could be a fun fight, guys. We'll see how this goes. Um, hopefully it goes well. Otherwise, I'm going to need to bring an army up here, which I didn't want to have to do. Um, we might just try and sue for point peace quickly. Um, with the Nekrach Brotherhood. So, let's see. This is another nice desert battle. Well, it's another desert battle, so I'm not particularly bothered about that. Um, they have reinforcements coming in, so I want to be quite aggressive early on. The thing with this is it's going to be trying to get their lord dead as quickly as I can. So uh, that's where all of my focus is going to be, is on, on getting their lord down. I don't have a spellcaster here at all, which I would have quite liked to have actually. I'll pop all my cavalry on this wing and they're going to move up into these trees. Oh, they're already over there, so maybe moving my cavalry into those trees is not the best idea. Just get my cavalry over here. I'm gonna have to attack uphill here. You know what? I don't have to attack. Why am I being aggressive? They are attacking. They have to come to me. Let's make them charge up a hill towards me. They don't have any ranged at all, so they have to attack me. And with that, let's get a bit of cavalry on cav off onto each side. And let's double time it until they attack. And if they don't, this could get very boring. Here they come. Okay, let's get these guys over here. After running them all the way over there. No, he can stay here. Nice duck. Gore 
Oh, they're running away. Too late. Let's watch this. Straight through my own units. Oh, that didn't work particularly as well. Oh, these guys can charge down. And here comes the rest of their army. Some Varagists. Let's get these guys behind. Let's turn this off so I can keep shooting at these guys. Okay, this little battle is uh, free and clear. We're shredding these guys. And charge. These guys need to disengage and start heading over. Nice, my uh, good range units are in there. Oh, there's very guys to need to get off these guys. Come on, guys, disengage. Okay, we are holding these guys nicely at the moment. These guys can charge into the back of those Varagists. Let's get some support here. Get out of there, you stupid Stegadon! Why did you land? Where is their lord? Just pausing this while I find their lord. Where is he? Let's get him on that, that, that guy to start with. You can charge into the back of these guys. Let's watch this one. He charges the back of all these graven guards. Oh, ha, 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 ha. And you can pull straight out and have another charge straight back in. You can charge up into there. But he can, I can break him around because uh, that's probably not the best unit for these guys to be in. Now you can charge back in. Right, Steggy, you can come out here. So we're dealing with his Graven Guard. No, no! Ho, ho, ho. These guys need to disengage fast. Okay, this is going nicely. Right, you can re-engage there. You can pull up. You can pull round as well. Oh, you can hit these Varagists for me. It's the nice thing about these Stegodons. I'm, I'm, I'm cycling them at the moment to make sure they're doing as much damage as I can. Some of my units are enraging. This is a quite a slow battle actually it's a more a slow and steady see here my guys are enraging the issue I will have here is they don't break so I wanted to try and find their lord um, who I seem to have lost because uh, I can kill their lord they will all disintegrate where is he 
Or do I have to kill all of their lords? Get out of there. I'm gonna keep these guys back now. Oh, that was beautiful. We're now on the last one of these guys on that last corpse cart. I think this is where it's going to start turning. Going straight back in, Mr. Staggy. And we can go out to those Varagists. Come on, Skink, get a bit closer, get involved. And this is it, they are, I've killed their last regenerating unit, which means all of their guys are, basically their army is falling apart. They are gone. So, uh, yes, I have completely destroyed both those armies. They have no troops left after that, um, which is always nice. Um, so actually this army is getting quite veteran, even though it's a, probably a set, it's one of my secondary armies. They are doing very nicely here. So let's uh, occupy this place. So we've got Vampire Coast over here. I do not get what these guys are doing at all. They are managing to lose a war with superior numbers, with massively superior numbers and better positioning. But they're not positioning themselves, you see what I mean? They had them surrounded, and then they just ignored them. Right, I need to start worrying now, because Lothan is right behind me. Um, but I really am not in a position to start the next ritual yet. Where is... Ah, oh, they have that place back. Got gold resource here. Oh, actually, what's this? Oh, we've already got the gold. Will they give you me some money? Bargain, but I have already won. Oh no, it's meant to be demanding payment. Mm, no. I'm gonna hold here for a couple of turns just to regen. And I'm gonna keep pushing on. Right, so, oh, God, this session's gone on for 44 minutes, guys, so I'm uh, actually going to stop this one here, because that is uh, far longer than I meant to be going on for, because um, I meant to really be doing 30-minute sessions, uh, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, as I always say, any feedback, please feel free to pop on, guys. Uh, thank you very much. I hope this one's not gone on too long.